Today we're doing speed enforcement in uh, construction zones uh, within the township. Typically, um, speed is, a, is the major contributing factor to a lot of our crashes, certainly our fatalities, um, when we're talking about motor vehicle accidents. And we're, we're doing this um, speed enforcement specifically in construction zones because uh, it's become increasingly dangerous over the years for not only construction workers, but people entering those construction zones. You can see how big these signs are, right? So when you see a sign like that and you're traveling into a construction zone, you want to make sure you start to slow down. Uh, last year alone, almost a thousand people um, uh, passed away because of construction zone crashes, whether that's tractor trailers hitting cars or construction workers getting hit. Um, a thousand is, is way too many. It's, it's actually less, about 900 and some, but um, we're seeing a trend upwards. So we're, we're really going to try to make a dent in, um, in that by putting some information out there. Look, we're going to be out there enforcing speed. We're going to be out there uh, enforcing the laws uh, around construction zones and those penalties that come along with that. Some things to consider maybe uh, throw your headlights on when you come in into a construction zone. Uh, start to slow down way before a construction zone. Use the zipper method uh, when you when you approach a zone to, to get as many cars safely into that line as you can. Well, well speed is the, is the number one killer. They come into these construction zones way too fast. Okay, um, and the fines alone now are going to be doubled in a construction zone. Uh, you can lose your license if you're speeding 11 miles over the limit in a construction zone. So it's 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 a serious offense if you if you, if you do speed through a zone like that. And that's what we're here today uh, to do to to keep an eye on that. And, Harry Stefano with Highway Safety Network, the Community Traffic Safety Project Coordinator in District 5. So Exeter Township's doing a work zone detail today, and I know Sergeant Fullerton spoke about some of the laws, uh, what they were looking for, but I just want to remind, remind the traveling public um, some of the safety aspects of how they should be uh, driving in the work zone. So some things that you may, you may encounter is a lower speed limit, so um, going through this, the work zone, drivers have to adhere to that lowered speed limit. In Pennsylvania, on average, over the past 10 years, there's roughly 1,800 work zone crashes. Uh, by lowering that speed limit, we are trying to eliminate those work zone crashes. Something also that dr drivers should do is when that speed limit is lowered, they should increase their distance between vehicles so they have more time to stop in case something should happen in the work zone that they need to stop quickly. Um, Work zones do have signage that tells the drivers to turn on their headlights when they're entering that work zone, so they should adhere to that as well. And something to always remember to never drive distracted, and drivers should always be wearing their seatbelt. Sean Brown, SEAN, BROW, and Penn Dot Press Office. This is really the beginning of the construction season. Spring into summer, really going to see a lot of work on our roadways in Pennsylvania, around the country, and in Berks County. So we really want motorists to realize that there's a danger to not only are construction workers out there, but really the driver. Most of the crashes, the fatalities, the injuries are to the driver, so there's a real danger, but we have workers that are going to be on the roadway with nothing much more than a cone between them and, and speeding traffic going 70, 80 miles an hour sometimes. So really want drivers, drivers to slow down, pay attention when you're in the work zone, give, uh, give our workers a break, slow down, and be careful out there.